so I guess we're going to be good. All right, let's go through. And All right, let's get our weather. So we got to go over to our ATIS, and we're going to be able to get our weather. That's going to be on. We're we'll doing the frequencies. I'll be doing those. 124.62. Contact that you have information X-ray. This is continuous information broadcast from New Smyrna Beach on February 17, 2017. New Smyrna Beach Airport Information X-ray. 2047 Zulu Observation. Wind 100 at 6. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 21. Dew point 7. Altimeter 3004. Visual approach runway 2 in use. Departing runway 11. Pattern traffic runway 7. Aircraft landing and departing converging and intersecting runways. Caution bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. Drone operating at or below 200 feet in the vicinity of Ponce Inlet shoreline until sunset. Hazardous weather is in effect for Florida and coastal waters available on high wash and flight service frequencies. Field conditions not monitored. All aircraft remain clear of class Charlie airspace until two-way radio communications has been established with a tone of each approach. Advise on initial contact that you have information X-ray. That's All right, so we got information, information. x-ray. We're going to head over to ground. And based off our airport diagram, looks like we're either going to be using runway 11 or runway 7. We're going to be doing a straight-out departure, hopefully on runway 7, do a lap or two around the lighthouse. After that lap around the lighthouse, we'll be coming right back in, make a nice normal landing. Should be pretty scenic. We're going to be departing straight out towards the ocean. So you should get a great view of the ocean as well as Ponce Inlet. And then we're going to do a couple laps around the Ponce Inlet lighthouse. All right, so we're going to be calling up ground. So I got ground on the... There, I'm going to put 11967, I'll put my tower there. And we'll verify my checklist for taxi. For taxi, checklist is complete. I'm just going to wait for that fuel truck to get out of the way. Alright, so while we're sitting here waiting for the fuel truck, let's talk about some of our primary flight instruments we got over here. Up here we got our radios, which enables us to talk with ATC. And coming down here we got a few different primary things. On the left we got our airspeed indicator, and this is going to primarily give us our airspeed indication. Now when I do the normal takeoff out of here and we go around the lighthouse, I'm going to be rotating when this says 55 knots. This right here is the attitude indicator, and the attitude, think about it as a big horizon, like you see when you're looking out towards the ocean. This is going to give us an indication, the blue meaning up, and the brown think about as a uh, brown just like the ground color it's going to be showing our descent this is the altimeter and this is going to be our altitude so we're probably going to climb up to about 800 to 1000 feet today which should be pretty nice right here's our vsi so this is the rate at which we are climbing at and this right here and this right here this is the compass this is our heading indicator so our heading indicator gives me my primary indication of heading that being north south east and west and coming over here all my engine instruments right here is my RPM. My engine RPM is going to be controlled by my throttle, just like so. So I push my throttle in, RPM goes up, pull the throttle out, RPM comes down. Along with all these, I have just a couple other instruments, so fuel flow, oil pressure, temperature, as well as my fuel indications right here. Alright, so he's getting out of the way, we can call ground. There's my race round, Epic Air 595. We're at the ramp facing east, hoping to do a quick departure, do a lap around the Ponce Lighthouse, and then come back around for a full stop landing information x ray. And what was the call sign? Epic Air 595. Epic 595, just running ground. Uh, taxi Echo, run up area, Charlie Alpha Echo. Taxi Echo, run up area via Charlie Alpha Echo, Epic Air 595. All right, so New Smyrna Beach Ground has given us clearance to taxi echo run-up area. I'm going to pull out my handy-dandy airport diagram. 
It's right here. Tells me everywhere I'm going to go. I'm going to go Charlie Alpha Echo. That's going to be a right-hand turn. Parking brakes coming off. Clear left, center, and right. I'm going to test my brakes. We are going to the right. All right, my brakes are good. Now, when I'm steering on the ground, on my feet, I got my rudder pedals. My rudder pedals specifically used to turn the airplane on the ground as well to help us out in flight. So I put my foot to the right, airplane goes to the right. I also got two brake pedals, one on the left and one on the right. And those I'm going to be using to up. And I'm going to put my RPM to get myself to a nice tax speed that's about 1,000 RPM. In order for me to stay straight down the center line, I want to take where my foot is, and in your case, it's going to be your right-hand foot. So for me, it's my left. For you guys, it's your right. And I want to keep that right about on the, right about on the line, and that's going to be right about where center line is. There's that tank suite sign says we're on alpha. Echo is going to be to the right. So we're going to bring it around right here. We're going to park the airplane. We're going to do our run-up. purpose of a run-up is we want to make sure all of our engine instruments work and all of our engines work right before we go fly. So I'm going to pull out my checklist. We're going to do the before takeoff run-up. So parking brake is set. Flight control. So I'm going to turn it to the left. Verify. Pull up. Pull right. Pull down neutral. Check my rudders. Pull right. Pull left. My PFD, MFD, make sure these both are indicating the way I want it to. Standby flight instruments are looking good. Uh, trim is set for takeoff, fuels like valves both, mixture's coming full rich, and we're going to do our engine check. So I'm going to bring my RPM up to 1800 RPM. We want to be checking for anything that's a little bit abnormal. As I bring it up, everything's looking good. Good. Going to the left. And back to both. Check all my engine instruments, make sure fuel flow, pressure, temperature, vacuum, and electrical are all in the green. A quick idle check. All right, airplane's idling good. Bring that up to 1,200 RPM. We're going to lean it out. I'm leaning it out by taking my mixture knob. I'm going to want to pull this out just a little bit. I want to be looking for a slight RPM drop. that drop. Looks like it got right around 20, about 1240, so I'm going to put it right at about 1240, bring it lean. Bring it back down to 1000 RPM. After engine check, and CDI soft key are good. Transponder 1200 are ground departure briefing. Then it has changed, parking brake release. Now we're going to call ground, let them know our run up is complete. I'm going to expect a runway 7. Epic Air 5, 95, runway complete, ready to continue. Epic 5, 95, ground runway 11, taxi Echo Bravo, cross runway 2. All right, taxi runway 11 via Echo Bravo, cross 2, Epic Air 5, 95. All right, we're taxiing to runway 11, Echo Bravo, cross 2.
My airport diagram, we're going to be making a right, crossing runway two, and then we're going to make a left on Bravo. And Echo Bravo cross two, there's Echo Bravo, clear to cross runway two. Check the final, I see one guy, he's not for this runway, final's clear, clear to cross. And get those lights on. Right, so we're departing off runway 11. If you have any abnormalities, we're going to close the throttle, maintain dropshipful control. If you have any abnormalities with runway remaining, we're just going to pull the throttle out, land back on the runway. And lastly, if we have any abnormalities after rotation without runway remaining, we'll uh, take straight ahead. Otherwise, it'll be a nice one back to the runway. So that should not be a problem today because it's a very nice day out. Airplane's doing pretty good. We got our departure briefings complete. We're going to hold short of runway 11. We're going to do our before takeoff. And we're going to be all set. Takeoff checklist. Before takeoff, off. Wing flaps are going to be up. Before takeoff checklist is complete. View check. Camera. Good. Here's the Mercury Star, Vigor 595 is short of runway, 11 ready for departure. Hey, Vigor 595 is for the tower, runway 11, proceed on course, clear for takeoff. All right, proceed on course, clear for takeoff, runway 11 at Vigor 595. Be advised, we're just going to do about one or two circles around the lighthouse for a company video, and then we'll be right back around. Uh, Epic 595, Roger, left turn on the course for the lighthouse is approved, and the circle's approved. Thanks, clear for takeoff, runway 11, left turn, and we'll be doing a few circles around the lighthouse. We'll probably be about a... Uh, we could probably be at about 1,000 feet if that works for you. So, uh, Epic 595, that works fine, sir. You'll be the only one in the area right now. Perfect. So, all of you in the patterns want to double check. We're going to 199, frequent to change approved. So, thanks. thanks. Get that window closed. 199, thanks for the help. See ya. Line up is runway 11. Look at that heading indicator, and we want to see that it says runway 11. And if you look off to the right, you should see the New Year blimp. All right, so we're lined up on runway 11. I'm going to put my feet at the bottom of the rudder pedals. I'm going to very smoothly go full throttle on the throttle. And full throttle. Engine instruments in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. We're looking for 55 knots on rotation. Okay, there's 55. I'm going to very smoothly rotate. The airplane should climb right into the air. Accelerate to my best rate of climb, which is 74 knots. And that's going to be, I want to take where those buildings are, and I want to start covering those up with the horizon. There's 500 feet. I'm going to lower the nose, accelerate up to 85. A little bit of more, a little bit better cooling over the engine, plus it's a little bit of a better view. There's 85. We're climbing up to 1,000. What I'm going to do is we're going to fly up towards the shoreline. We're going to make a left-hand turn. We'll probably head up towards the shoreline. It'll be a little bit of a better view. So you'll see up towards Daytona Beach and Ponce Inlet Lighthouse is going to be directly off to your left. As we roll out, there's Ponds Inlet just off to the left. Very beautiful day to go flying. So as I level off, I'm going to level my 
glove of my nose. I'm going to take about four fingers or so with the edge of the horizon over there. And I'm going to power back to cruise. A quick abbreviated after takeoff. And after takeoff, checklist is complete. All right, so let's start making a left-hand turn. All right, so if you look straight ahead, you're going to have Pond Inlet just below us. Straight ahead is Daytona. Daytona Beach Speedway is going to be located about straight ahead as well. So right now we're flying up the Daytona Beach shoreline. 